Hello everyone, my name is Dakoba and welcome back to Satisfactory. Today we're looking at a design for a clean and efficient early game solid biofuel power plant, which is a quick build that's going to go a long way towards alleviating the stress of keeping your factory powered in the early game before you unlock the more permanent power options later on. This is our first expansion to our starter factory, which is already producing iron rods, iron plates, screws, wire, cable, and concrete, everything we need to unlock and build this factory and power plant. Our first task is to unlock the obstacle clearing milestone in tier two. This is gonna give us the chainsaw, which we can use to both clear the area where we want to expand the factory at, but also is gonna allow us to stockpile vast amounts of biomass to keep our power plant running while we get through the exploration and factory building in the next stage of the game. The milestone also contains the recipe for solid biofuel, which is crafted from biomass and allows us to get an additional 25% energy out of the biomass compared to burning it directly. A solid biofuel also has two and a half times the fuel density of raw biomass, which means we'll be able to fill our generators and spend a lot more time away, whether we're building factories or exploring, before having to make the trek back home to refill the generators. Now, in addition to building the factory that's gonna produce our solid biofuel, we're also going to expand our biomass burner array, which will further increase the amount of power we have available to us as we expand and build those new factories. And because biomass burners are intelligent and only burn as much fuel as is needed to meet demand, expanding the number of burners is also gonna mean that we need to refuel less frequently. Let's get into it. and that is an automated biofuel power plant all complete it's a fairly simple design we have these two storage containers here the first one taking leaves and the second one taking wood those then feed those into a pair of constructors each of those constructors is set to produce biomass the biomass created by these two constructors is then sent into a storage unit this storage unit is mostly here so that i can contribute biomass that i gather manually or, or leftover biomass that i had from before that biomass is then looped around and sent into another constructor where it's turned into solid biofuel which is then deposited into a storage container for easy access now the power plant itself is simply an array of biomass burners you can see that we've doubled the number from 8 to 16 and that we have wired all of those up. I've also cleaned up the wiring just a little bit. I can't wait to get the awesome shop and unlock some of the options for hiding wires so that we can make things look a little bit nicer, a little bit cleaner. But 16 biomass burners running solid biofuel should be plenty for our factory needs. And you can see that we're in the consuming in the neighborhood of 60 to 70 megawatts. Our capacity is 480 megawatts. So we have a tremendous amount of room to expand. It also means that each of these biomass burners are running at about 15% speed. If we open one of these up, you can see how long it's taking to consume this fuel. And we have the ability to do a, a full stack of 200 fuel in each burner. So that's going to give us plenty of time to build additional factories, to go exploring, and to do all the other things we might want to do in the satisfactory world without having to worry about popping back over to our biomass burners every five minutes to refuel them. This should give us plenty of time and... Uh, we, we may only need to refuel these once or twice more before we unlock coal and move off of biofuel as a primary power source. And I think that's going to do it for today. 
I'd like to thank you for joining me for a few minutes today. I hope you've enjoyed this guide and this episode in our satisfactory world. Leave a like if you have, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. My name is Ben Dacoba, and I hope you have an efficient day. I'll see you soon.